but Alarma. Alarma. Um, so imagine like National Enquirer, right? Yeah. It's like a newspaper slash magazine. You find it at the supermarket. It's right there by the gum. So yeah. imagine National Enquirer, okay? But it does not talk about celebrities. It only talks about local crimes that are incredibly violent. But here's the kicker. It shows all of the graphic pictures of said violence. Ooh. That is Alarma magazine. It's one of the highest, um, most successful magazines in all of Mexico. Literally, you go to like a corner uh, store, there's a 90% chance they will sell Alarma. It'll be right there by the register. Everyone knows Alarma. They have so many reporters out there in Mexico that say, uh, oh, there's a crime uh, on 12th Street and Jefferson. Uh, a man was shot in the head. An Alarma reporter will be there before the police <laughs> to take a picture of the body, which will run in the next issue of Alarma. The reason why I know this. Yeah is that a cousin of mine on my father's side, so the Mexican side that I don't know that well, he was out with a bunch of friends. They were partying. In Mexico, it is commonplace for everyone to take one car. Oh, man, let's go back to your place. Okay, all 12 of us can fit in this car. So mm -hmm. they all pile into this one car and they're all going and they go on a bridge, but they, but one of them is drunk and there's an accident and my cousin was decapitated. Uh. I didn't know him that well. He didn't speak English. I didn't speak Spanish. There was a barrier. So I'm, I was surprisingly okay with my dad coming home with an issue of alar Alarma that featured my cousin's bloodied head. <laughs> and i'm like oh my something god something to remember cousin. him by that's my cousin i saw him two years ago at a family reunion that's horrible also dad what the hell is this magazine how come i have never heard of it before and you need to get me more yeah it's like oh my god it's like suddenly faces of death is real and it's a magazine yeah Oh my God! So so Vice. I, I find that kind of awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, they, like it, the magazine was basically like a National Enquirer, but they only focused on drug wars and violence and suicides and yeah. death. And it's amazing. And occasionally there's nudity, but mostly it's just some fucking corpses. And it's amazing. And it's the sort of thing that, like, oh, in Mexico, oh, yeah, we'll have that right next to the register. But in America, holy shit, there's no way this could exist. Yeah. It's like a page three girl. That couldn't exist in America. That's a British thing. There's no way it could exist here. And there's no way Alarma could ever exist in America. But in Mexico, oh, no, it's fucking everywhere. So Vice <laughs> follows Alarma for, like, a weekend. And the documentary is amazing, and that's when I learned that, like, Mexican drug dealers have literally – because in Mexico is very Catholic, and Catholics have all of these fucking saints like Pokemon. So yeah. there literally is, like, a saint of drug dealers. There's a saint of death that bad people pray to in Mexico. Nice. And they, they – yeah, so, so Vice is following Alarma, and they stop at a – altar to the saint of death and it's fucking amazing so anyway alarma fucking love alarma but i'm pointing at bella during this period in time she is trying really hard to not pay attention to what i'm saying and, and uh that's okay because this is all engram <laughs>